I kind of sort of have six reasons that I give when people ask that question, why ferment? It's healthy, it's delicious, it's economical, it's green, it's easy, and it's fun. From a health perspective, fermented foods are the original probiotic foods. So during the process of preservation that a typical ferment undergoes, those uh, lactic acid bacteria, they all get into the mix and they're actually consuming the carbohydrates and imparting enzymes, they're imparting vitamins, and then they're imparting themselves. And then so when we consume that sort of living raw food, those uh, bacteria are shoring up the bacteria that are in our guts. I think as a culture we've become really obsessed with sort of cleanliness to an extreme where I think we're starting to become less healthy sort of in the long term. Many people may not be aware that there are more bacterial cells or bacteria in our guts than there are cells in our body. So you could argue that they're an integral part of, of how we sort of grow and how we digest food. And so by eating fermented foods, we're sort of shoring up the good guys. And especially now when, when a lot of our food in, in our culture is dominated by sort of highly processed things. And it's more important than ever, I think, to sort of reintroduce these good bacteria to our systems. And a lot of it is about community. And you know, whether we're talking about uh, social community, whether it's people, or whether it's your relationship to your local land and, and earth and air and water, if you're buying sauerkraut from a guy and he may be, let's say, in Ohio and, and we're here in California, um, that was made with the air and the water and the dirt from that region of the country, region, you know, that microclimate. Whereas if you're doing something here, if I start from cabbage that's grown here in Southern California and I you know, use water from our municipal system here and I, you know, I mix it and let it ferment in with the naturally occurring bacteria and yeast that are in the air, you're not going to be able to beat something where you're actually sort of literally living and breathing, drinking the same water and breathing the same air as the food and as the fermenting process. So it's going to be more compatible with your body and with, with your environment. And what's great is that uh, you can walk into a store, let's say, uh, at the end of summer when, when you know, cucumbers are half price because there's, there's such an abundance of them. And you can buy them and then go home and make pickles from them. And you can be eating those pickles for the next six or eight months. It's just as simple to make, you know, six heads of cabbage as it is to make two. So why not just spend that, that level of effort to prepare, let's say, a sauerkraut, and then you have that much more to share. So that in that way, you're sort of creating a sense of community. Getting back to that sort of uh, community-based way of living is, is crucial to sort of to keeping us close together as, as a society.